Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Let's chat because I have been MIA for almost a month on YouTube and now getting back into it, I guess. Um, I never had the intention of stopping, but as I've mentioned before, I don't get paid from YouTube. It's a hobby. It's for fun. It's to interact with other moms. It's to share things that I'm doing and then also like for me to look back on, to see like how the kids have grown up, things I have been doing, compare, pregnancy, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I, um, it is, like, I got back from work, I worked today, I, um, have Presley napping, I'm winding down, I felt like it was a good time to do an update, because a lot has happened. Um, I've been MIA with editing and uploading, <laughs> so, I'm sorry, you can see, like, a glare from the light on my sunglasses, um, but... I have filmed a lot of stuff. Editing and uploading takes time and I've been working more, not to mention we had all the holidays. So I had the wedding, I had um, the bridal shower, stuff like that going on, sister's birthday, uh, Patrick's birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then we were in St. John for a while. So like so much has happened and then the new year and you get out of routines and that's kind of what happened. I was getting into a good routine of editing and uploading, editing, uploading. And then it just became like, well, maybe I'll just add all the Christmas stuff together. And then, so I was waiting for all the Christmas stuff to be done. And then we were in St. John or, and then we were, um, had New Year's and like stuff was just going on. Like I can't even think straight because it was so much going on in December. And then January is just kind of like getting back on track with the kids in school and work and um, we are moving. <laughs> so, well, we're, we're getting ready to put the house on the market, which means you have to make it look like a demo home, like nobody lives here. So I have been packing and cleaning up like no one's business and still trying to catch up on laundry from our trip and the holidays. And we're always back and forth between someone like the parents' houses and, um, just a lot, a lot. If you bounce from house to house around the holidays, you completely understand. If you went on a trip near the holidays, you completely understand. So, still got some good light. Maybe I should shut this off. But, it has just been a whirlwind and absolutely crazy. If I turn this off, can you see me? Ooh, it shocked me. Yeah, that'll be okay. So, just crazy, 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 crazy stuff going on at our house. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm having trouble wrapping around my head around like when I stopped and what has happened. But I have filmed Christmas. I still have a glare from the window. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm just going to be dark, I guess. I still have a glare. Oh my goodness. Oh well. But... I, I just don't know where I stopped and where to pick up. And now I'm like, oh, I have all this footage. I'm going to upload all the footage anyways. Because, <laughs> let's face it, this YouTube channel is for me, basically. I would love if, like, I helped a bunch of people. But <laughs> 40 people watch my video. You know what I mean? So I'm going to continue to do it. Why I did it was for me to look back on, for me to enjoy. Hopefully other people still enjoy it. Even though it is way past Christmas, I'm going to post the Christmas and I'm going to post Presley's birthday, and um, I'm just going to keep posting even though it's past. So I hope everybody is okay with that. I will throw in regular videos in between. So um, I'm probably going to do a Sunday video of what a typical Sunday looks like for us, and um, throw that in there. I want to do a nighttime routine soon. Um, I actually think I even filmed a nighttime routine and didn't get to edit it or post it. I have to look back at all this stuff. Um, but Presley's walking now and it's everything's so exciting. Like everything exciting is happening and I feel like I'm missing writing it down in the baby book and I'm missing putting the videos up and I want to get back to it. It just takes time and when it's a hobby, 
it's usually the first thing to fall on the back burner. So, um, it's kind of where I'm at with YouTube right now. I definitely don't want to stop. I definitely love doing it. I love looking back at our videos. We looked back on our labor and delivery video and oh my gosh, the amount of views that are on that video. <laughs> so glad I did not show my hoo-ha because thousands of people would have seen my hoo-ha. That's just mind boggling to me. But, um, we looked back on that and it was exciting. I love that I posted. I love that I made it. So I'm going to keep going with that. Another thing that I'm trying to do is open my own boutique. And I have been trying to do this for a very long time. But again, it's not income earning right away. So it falls in the back burner. But that is something for 2019 I'm really striving to do because it is like my dream to have my own boutique. I may have mentioned that before. But um, I'm ready to get it started and going to start it online only. This way I can manage it from the house um, and still uh, work at the shop, at the printing shop. And, um, you know, I just feel blessed that I can be able to do that. But it does take time. You got to figure out a name. I have options, but I don't quite know. Um, and then you have to get licenses and LLCs and to be able to go to buy these certain clothings and stuff like that. So I'm working on it. It's a lot, but I have so many plans for 2019 and I hope that everybody wants to follow along with me. Um, I just wanted to update everybody on how things are going. I'll put some footage from work in here because I did film a little at work, just trying to get back into it. A little bit of Presley and the dog and just some cute little clips I'll add to the end of this, but basically this is going to be a update you where the hell have I been type of situation. Um, I need to do a one-year-old update that all fell on the back burner too, but she had a situation, a rash, rash situation happen um, with her shots. And I'd like to talk about that because it happened, I told my friend about it and then it happened to her child. So I think it is um, more common now than it used to be. And, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Just plugging along, getting the house ready to put on the market and, um, me having all these videos on my phone, on my camera. St. John was amazing. It was an amazing wedding. I have to make that wedding video for my friends still. Um, but she hasn't even gotten her wedding pictures back. So she really wants a video and I'm like, girl, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> it's so much and it's so many little clips to edit um if you don't edit videos I don't think you realize how much goes into it and I'm not even a very good editor so I can't imagine like some of the work some people put into their videos um I just don't know all the bells and whistles but here I am for 2018 2019 oh gosh 2019 the Thompson tribe is still here and um if anybody cares to follow our life we are um, just hoping for big things in 2019. I We're putting our house on the market by March 1st. I'm hoping to get done before then, but by March 1st, the house is going on the market. And um, we're going to sell before we look at buying. Just because we'll earn money from our house and we'll get to pay off some debt. And so hopefully we'll get a better loan. So I think we're going to live with my parents for a little bit. But um, I'm so excited. It's just a lot. It is a lot. Um, making your house look like no one lives here. It's kind of, um, it's kind of like relieving at the same time because I'm like, oh, everything's clean. Everything's neat. Like that room, I don't have to worry about a mess because there's nothing to mess up because there's nothing in the drawers. <laughs> like literally, it's my son's in the playroom. It's my son's game, a beanbag. Um, a couple coloring things and then I took everything else out and we got rid of a lot because let's be honest he's nine going on ten all he plays with is video games so we got rid of his cars his Legos stuff like that actually I think we kept his Legos but I packed him away but like got rid of the little stuff that he doesn't play with anymore he would rather play Fortnite that's what he'd rather do and I said that's what you'd rather do then let's get rid of the other stuff and he doesn't miss it one bit so very relieving. What is that? Um, condor, con, condor. Oh, I'm butchering her name. The method, the cleaning method. <laughs> I watched it on Netflix. It's now a show on Netflix. And I'm like, yes, 
yes, give me motivation, help me, <laughs> anything to motivate me to get this stuff done and to clean out. So I've done the playroom, um, my mom's helped me, uh, Aiden's room, Sissy's room, the dining room. So I have the kitchen downstairs, our bedroom, and my office, and those are three big ones. So um, I guess I saved the worst for last, although the playroom took a while, a couple, took a couple hours. But, um, my clothes I'm dreading doing, uh, I hate getting rid of clothes. I attach memories to them. I'm so bad about it, but I'm going to try the thank you for what you've done for me. Get rid of it. Um, ugh, I could not remember the name of this, but you know, because everybody knows her cleaning method and I have used her folding method for a while because I got the book for. I got the book a couple of years ago and I used the folding method because I thought that was genius and I can fit more clothes in there using the folding method. So, um, if you would like videos about that, how I'm cleaning out like that, let me know. Um, I didn't video any of the other rooms, but I can from now on. Those are the easy rooms. Like these are the jam packed. I'm embarrassed how much is in my closet and in my dressers and how much my clothes I have like it's embarrassing and a lot of them I may never fit into but I'm in that stage where I'm like I still want to lose baby weight so maybe I'll fit into it I know you know what I'm talking about if you're a female you for sure know like my weight fluctuates so much and I have skinny moments and they're rare but I have them and then I have the okay moments where I stay pretty good at like 130 something and then I have where I am now, which is a bigger moments. And I don't want to rebuy clothes for all those moments in my life that I fluctuate through. Um, I don't know. If you have advice on that, if you've gone through that, that's probably my hardest thing right there is the clothes. So if you have done that, please give me all the advice you can on that. So, um, so I can be successful. <laughs> And um, hopefully not cry in the process because I always cry when I have to go through clothes because I'm upset by what doesn't fit me and I have trouble getting rid of stuff. But I'm going to try and sell everything on Poshmark so that I feel a little better about getting rid of it because money comes back in and then I donate things as well. So I always donate. But like if it was expensive, I'll probably sell it on Poshmark and... Um, the new thing I'm going to do is not spend unless I earned it through Poshmark. So not buy clothes unless the money comes from Poshmark. I think that's what I'm going to do. So kind of like recycling my stuff. Um, so I'd have to sell a lot more in order to buy a few things. So that is what I'm going to try. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of like how I'm going to budget myself um, with shopping because... I love shopping. I love Target and I can get it like it can get out of hand a little bit. Like I can go there and just be like, oh, that's cute. That's cute and not pay attention. So I'm going to start instead of taking a budget out of our income, I'm going to take a budget out of my Poshmark and make that my spending. So that's something I have in mind to set forth in 2019. And obviously I will donate. I always donate stuff. Um, but I mean, I'm not rich, so <laughs> I mean, being honest, like being straightforward, like selling stuff and earning money helps my family. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on in our life. And that's where we're at right now in our life. And um, I'm super excited. I was sick for a while too. Um, you can probably still hear it. I feel like I'm always sick because Presley gets all of my, um, not nutrients, but she gets all of my good um not bacteria either. Good golly, Jacqueline. Um, my fighting people. <laughs> my little soldiers in my body. <laughs> she gets all the good ones of them. I can't think of anything right now. But basically, like, I give her everything to fight off colds for her. And I feel like I'm kind of left with none, so I'm always getting sick. Um, but there's a sacrifice I'm making for her, and I'm so happy about it. I'd rather me get sick than her anytime. So, so far she has not, um, gotten anything, anything that Patrick and I both had. We both had like this head cold thing that like I've been coughing for almost a month. Um, I feel fine, but like, I just have like this asthma cough going on. 
Um, Patrick doesn't have the cough anymore, but I still have it. And I think it's because I do give her all those fighting soldiers. <laughs> my words, y'all, my words, they're gone. Uh, but yes, so um, I hope that everyone kind of sticks with us or comes back and watches us and um, we get more family members, more tribe members, more subscribers. And um, hopefully I start putting out content that is super helpful to people in 2019. That's what I'm hoping for. So that's some of my goals for 2019. I didn't think this was going to turn into like what's going to happen in 2019, but like maybe this will hold me accountable. Um, so this is an update. Where the hell have I been? Goals for 2019 <laughs> type of situation. So until my next video, guys, which may be a Christmas video. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Really? Okay. Is that what you're doing? Oh. Can you, is that what you're trying to do? You try and get outside? Okay. Yeah. Hey, can you come give mommy kisses? Yeah, can you? Can you? You can come give me kisses. <laughs> Are you busy? <laughs> Are you busy? Oh. I see. I think Lucy thinks you're gonna let her out. Yeah, she does. Really? Are you going to? Hey, can you come here? Can you come to mama? Can you kiss this? Can you walk to me? Can you walk to me? Presley. Pres can you walk to mommy? Give me kisses. Can you come here? Are you singing? <laughs> really? Can you come on, come to mama. Give me kisses. Look, Lucy, come. Come on. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Give mama kisses. Hey. Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. Give me another. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> this is yummy kisses. <laughs> hey, up, 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 up. Can you go to mommy? Can you go to your mommy? Easy. Go easy. Mommy. Go to mommy. Come on. Easy, easy, easy. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> oh, Pesley, up, 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 up. Oh. Good job. Okay. Keep, go go. Keep going. Keep going. Maymay, can you move out of the way? Keep going. You got Woo. it. Keep going. Woo. You got it. it. Go to mommy. Oh, oh good job, baby. <laughs> what is your Lucy doing? <laughs> Say, that's my chair, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing, baby? What is she doing? <laughs> she in your chair? Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to pull her out. <laughs> is Lucy in your chair? 
Say that's my chair. <laughs> that is hilarious, Lucy. <laughs> Get out of my chair. No, look at her. What what possessed you to do that, girl? <laughs> Yeah, get out of my chair. She's trying to pull herself. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> oh, wait till she finds out her faffy's under there. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy, what you doing, baby? Presley, where's your faffy? Too cute. Uh, where's your faffy? What you doing? There you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Is it comfortable? Uh, you're too cute. Too cute.